Hey guys, today I'm filming a very exciting video because I haven't filmed one of these in so incredibly long. I'm filming a favorites video. These are my absolute favorite things because it's not just makeup products. It's a lot of random things, including makeup, skincare, TV shows, music, all that good stuff. I'm so excited to share these things with you guys because you know, I love literally just talking, just talking your heads off and talking about all these things that I like and that I've really been enjoying this month. So without further ado, let's jump into the first product. So the first thing I want to talk about is this palette right here. This palette is from Persona Cosmetics. This is owned by Sona. She is a beauty influencer and a makeup artist. And I've known of her and I've been watching her videos. But for some reason, I just never bought the palette. And it's not for any particular reason. I just never got around to it. And then I saw that they were having like a 25% off sale and I was like, oh, this is my opportunity. So I bought this palette and I bought a liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick is amazing and it's such a beautiful color. But this palette is so perfect. It is easy to blend. It is gorgeous. It's a perfect, perfect palette for everyday wear, for going out, for daytime, nighttime, glam, soft glam, natural looks. It is so, so good. The shimmers are so buttery and so pigmented. It looks perfect for fall, doesn't it? It's like the perfect fall color. So I feel like I'm really going to be using, ooh, I'm getting it dirty. No. We can't do that already. She did such a good job on this palette. It's so good. It's the perfect amount of pigmentation that a beginner can use and someone that's advanced at makeup can use it as well. It's honestly so stunning, perfect, like so wearable. I just, I'm obsessed with her. This is literally like my favorite palette of the month. It is so good. The next product I need to talk to you guys about is this moisturizer. I came across this moisturizer. I don't even know how. I saw something that was like Rihanna's favorite moisturizer is under $10 or something like that. But I clicked on it and I was curious about it and I was reading reviews and this is so good. This is the Waleda Skin Food Moisturizer. It is amazing. It leaves like such a nice radiant glow. I love it so much. If you have really oily skin, be aware that you do need moisturizer to begin with, but this is going to leave like a shine. I know a lot of people that have oily skin don't like things that leave that shine, but this, trust me, is going to really moisturize your skin, which will probably help and you won't be as oily since your face won't be comp overcompensating for the lack of moisture that it's not getting. I feel like this is going to really give you that moisture that you're missing. It's so good. I love using this on my elbows or like on my knees, you know, those areas where like the skin is rougher and you may lose a lot of moisture there. And I use this on my face morning and night. It's fantastic. Oh, and also this doubles as a primer. A lot of times I wear it as a moisturizer and a primer. I don't use any primer and it makes the makeup look so pretty and adhere to the skin beautifully. I love this. I love this moisturizer. It's my favorite moisturizer. Color. <laughs> I know it's fall and during fall, I feel like we tend to mute things down a little bit, but not on this corner of the internet. The LA, LA, I was gonna say LA colors. LA Girl came out with these beautifully colored eyeliners and lip liners. I had to get eight of them. I wanna start lining my waterline with really bright colors. And I don't think you guys have seen me use these on my channel just yet, but it is so pretty. These are so pretty, so pigmented. It looks, it looks radioactive. It's that beautiful. Look at this. Look at this yellow. Some of them are lip liners, like this is a lip liner. I believe this red is a lip liner and the orange is a lip liner also, but I don't care. I'm gonna use them for my eyeballs. So Fenty came out recently with some new products. She came out with her Diamond Milk and she came out with this highlighter. This is How Many Carrots. This is such a beautiful highlighter, but it's unlike any highlighter that you've probably ever tried before. This feels like a gel and it looks wet like it makes the hot okay it doesn't look like a whole lot of anything because of my light but it just makes your skin look oh there i caught it right there it makes your skin look wet it's the highlighter that i have on today it's mixed with fenty beauty's hustler baby and it is so beautiful it gives the skin that like wet look and i love it i'm so obsessed with it 
Be keep in mind though, it has glitter, a little bit of glitter in it. So if you're not comfortable with glitter, I love me some glitter. But if you're not comfortable with glitter, then you're gonna want to stay away from this. It does have glitter in it, but it is so pretty. I I love it. It's so nice. It just it's so beautiful. It makes the skin literally look wet. The next two things we're gonna talk about is okay. Side note. I've been obsessed lately with pale nudes, like pale nude lipsticks that I have never steered toward, guys. I have never steered towards any pale nude lipsticks, but as of lately, paired with these lip liners that I'm gonna mention that are also my favorites, it looks so good. Today, I have Spice Lip Liner from MAC, which is also here my favorite. Let me just talk about all these three at the same time. Like, why not? We're talking about all of them. So I pair the Pale Nudes with these lip liners, Spice from MAC and Cork. These lip liners, I've been just obsessed with this month. They make all these pale nude colors that I normally would never wear look beautiful if you guys want a tutorial on kind of how I do it and how I make my lips look fuller and how I overdraw my lips and all that stuff let me know in the comments below and I'll give you guys a little toot on that but I'm obsessed with these they're so good like I said it's spice and cork beautiful I like spice for more rosy nudes which is what I have on today I have spice lip liner with creme de nude from Mac creme de nude I I've been loving this this month. It just looks uh, so good. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with it. It just looks so good with Spice Lip Liner. I had a little bit, I think, of like a gloss over this. And I just like mix it with my finger and it gives the beautifulest, beautifulest nudie color and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's such a beautiful combination for fall nudes, you know, like fall nude lipsticks. I feel like it's very fitting, like, because that Spice Lip Liner, it has, like, just the perfect amount of red in it to give it that, like, and since we're still on the topic of creme de nude, this creme de nude perfume is so good. It's like that Oh my god, it's like that musky smell. If you guys don't know me, my favorite perfumes are Alien, Narciso Rodriguez. It's a, a Juicy Couture one that I like, and this, I smelled it at MAC. It is so incredibly delicious and light, and I don't like wearing perfumes. I wear perfumes rarely, and I don't put it directly on my skin. I put it on my clothes. Because if I put it on my skin, I feel like I'm suffocating. And I don't like that. I start coughing, my throat gets itchy, it's like a whole, it's a whole thing. So I like very like musky, soft, delicious smells. And this, I love it. And besides, look at this packaging. I love this frosty color here. And then these black, this black and like the nude. Like I'm loving this combination. It's so beautiful, right? It's so pretty. Whew. Oh my God. It's getting hot in here, this sweater. Well, it's just, uh, yeah, it's like the my ceiling titty and my ring light. I don't have that many lights, but it's, it's really hot in here. This is L'Oreal's collab with Camila Cabello. This is their sunlit bronzer. I really like this, guys. It is a really nice, subtle, golden, sun-kissed bronze. I love just blending it out with my beauty sponge and it just gives a really, really nice sun-kissed glow. Like literally this looks like you spent your time out in the beach in Cuba getting that sun and you just like, mm. that's what I have on today. And it looks so beautiful. And it literally with the blush and with the highlight, it just, I don't know, it just went. It just looked so good together. I loved it. I think this is really, really pretty. I picked this up at Walmart, and it says that you can mix it in with your foundation for an instant Havana sunlit glow. I haven't mixed it with my foundation because I'm afraid it might darken it a little bit for me. So I don't know. I don't know about that. I haven't tried that yet, but it is so good. It blends out with your beauty blender very well. I don't know if I would like that consistency to blend out with like a buffing brush. So if you pick this up, try it out with the beauty blender first, see what you think. And then if you want to try it with the brush, go ahead. But I totally recommend it with the beauty blender. It is so pretty. You don't need to set it. You don't need to do anything to it. It looks gorgeous. Hair products. 
I've been using this lately as my dry shampoo. I've used quite a couple of dry shampoos and this is one of my favorites that I've been using. This is Batiste Dry Shampoo in Coconut and Exotic Tropical. Let me just put a little bit. Let me just, let me just put a little bit. My dog is looking at me like, what are you about to do? What are you doing? It is so good. I like it and I love the scents. I love doing this to add some volume to my hair because my hair gets like a little, you know, she gets a little flat. She acts up. It is so good and it smells delicious. Like this, this scent is, I literally feel like I am in a tropical vacation. I wanna try the one that it's like kind of tinted brown because I have, you know, a little bit of like white hairs because I'm getting wiser and I'm aging a tad. I want something that kind of will conceal that. This is my natural hair color. I haven't dyed my hair in a really, really long time. So I'm thinking of trying that out, but this is so good and it's affordable and yeah, it does leave a little bit of a white cast if you do it too close, but if you just like kind of run your fingers through it, it goes away pretty quickly. But I really want to try the one with that brown tint, like I told you guys. Comment down below if you've tried it. Let me know if you like it or not because mama might pick it up all too soon. Okay, so these lashes are the ones that I have. I only have one pair, which is ridiculous of me. I don't know why I haven't bought more if I've been this obsessed with these lashes. But I've been wearing them all the time for the past two months. I suck at taking care of lashes, but I've made sure to take care of these babies. Like, look at them. They are just the perfect pair of wispy, not overboard, but they look glam type of lashes. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're beautiful. This is Sephora Collection Swanky number 33. These are $10 at Sephora, and they are so good. They are the best, I guess, $10 price range lashes that I have used. They're super comfortable, they're easy to use, they're easy to put on. I love them and I love how they look on my eyes. I feel like they really flatter my eye shape and they look so pretty. They're like not overboard, but they look glam. From far, they don't look like that glam, but like you see, like they're pretty big. They're not that small. Okay, before we move on to the next thing, I wanna talk about a TV show that I've been obsessed with this month. I don't watch TV, I, I watch YouTube. Like I really don't watch TV, I don't do any of those things. But I was watching the show The Bold Type and it's so good. I am obsessed with it. And they mention like two K they play like two K-pop songs. If you guys don't know, I really love K-pop. So when I heard Blackpink and when I heard Hyuna, I was okay, this is my show. It is so good. I watch it on the Freeform um, website or the app. If you like shows like Sex and the City, you're gonna love this. This is a more modern spin on that. The girls are younger, they work at a magazine, and it's just so fun to watch. And the doctor in season two, boy, he is fine. So yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I really like it. I finished the second season. I'm hoping they do a season three, a season four, five, six, seven, so I can continue watching them because I really don't ever love shows. Like I said, I don't watch them. So since I found one I like, give me more. Like I need, I need more. It's like crack. I'm like, I need more seasons. Thank you. The next thing, just holding it under my nose, I'm like, so good. This is DW Home Sea Salted Pumpkin Candle. This smells so good. I can't, oh my God, I can't begin to, ex like I wish I could just like here, smell it. It smells so absolutely amazing. I got it for $2.99 at Marshalls. Guys, if you have not, if you live in the States and you haven't been to Marshalls, go to Marshalls. You're gonna find good cheap makeup, you're gonna find good cheap clothes, you're gonna find good cheap shoes, you're gonna find good cheap candles. I buy a lot of stuff at Marshalls. You need to go to Marshalls. You might run into me, say hi, give me a little hug, but you need to go to Marshalls. You need to get you these candles. If you love candles, Bath and Body Works, they got some good candles, but they're expensive, that's too much. $2.99, get these at Marshalls, so delicious, it's so good. Now wait, before you leave, the last thing I wanna show you is my favorite song of the month. I love it so much. It is Paradise Island from Millic by Millic, not from Millic. I mean Paradise Island, it's Treasure Island by Millic. Okay, I clearly don't know anything. So good. Just wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. 
That's all I'm gonna give you. Try it, go check it out. Like, look up Treasure Island by Millic. It is such a good song. That's like my vibey. Like, I love those like alternative R&B songs. They're just so like, mmm, mmm. You know what I mean? I love them so much. This concludes my September favorites video. If you guys like this video, let me know by giving me a little thumbs up. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the things here, if you like it, if you don't like it, so we can have like a little chat in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.